Brothers and sisters in the Lord, today we reflect upon a relic that has spanned centuries, allowing us to witness with our own eyes the sacrifice Jesus made to save us. We speak of the profound gesture made by Pope Francis during his visit to the Holy Shroud, an act that did not go unnoticed and captured the depth of the Shroud's significance for all of Christendom. For centuries, the Shroud has been an object of veneration, but also of debate and scientific inquiry. Its very existence bridges faith and science, the seen and the unseen. But why is the Shroud so pivotal for us as Christians? Beyond scientific evidence and theories, it stands as a tangible reminder of Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection. Every mark, every stain on that cloth speaks of Christ's ultimate sacrifice of love for humanity. It reminds us of the price Christ paid for our redemption. And each time we gaze upon that image, we are called to reflect on the depth of God's love for each one of us. Throughout history, numerous popes have meditated on the sacred shroud. Each, with their unique style and spirituality, sought to grasp the essence of that holy image, striving to understand the mystery it holds. And in every reflection, there's a consistent thread of thought, a depth that deepens over time. While John Paul first recognized and honored the popular devotion of the Sancta Sindonis devotees, Paul VI, in his message accompanying the televised presentation of the Shroud on the evening of November 23, 1973, stated, Regardless of the historical and scientific judgment that experts might offer on this extraordinary and enigmatic relic, we are called to hope that it might guide visitors not only to a profound reflection on the earthly and external traits of the Savior's incredible image, but also to a deeper understanding of his profound and captivating mystery. I gaze upon that face, Paul VI concluded, and each time I do, my heart proclaims, it is him. He is the Divine Redeemer. For John Paul II, the Shroud posed a challenge to human reason, an extraordinary testimony that, in its silence, speaks sublimely to all of us. On May 24, 1988, during a brief visit to Turin, John Paul II, despite already showing signs of his advancing illness, managed to deliver a speech that stands as the most detailed and profound analysis of his pontificate on the Shroud. This is a document that seems destined for our times. The Shroud has spanned centuries to allow everyone to see and touch the truth of Christ's message, so that no one can say, I did not see, I did not know. Pius XI urged everyone to contemplate the face imprinted on the Shroud a face that, even with its eyelids lowered, radiates divine light, a gaze that, though hidden, reaches deep into the soul. And Pope Francis, in 2013, continued that thought, urging us to look beyond death, to gaze upon the wood of the cross, and to immerse ourselves in Christ's silent love. Benedict XVI also spoke about the Shroud on several occasions, stating, he who is beauty itself let himself be struck in the face, spat upon, crowned with thorns. The Holy Shroud of Turin can touchingly bring this to our imagination. But precisely in this disfigured face, the genuine extreme beauty appears. The beauty of love that goes to the end, and thus proves stronger than falsehood and violence. In 2015, Pope Francis made a gesture that spoke louder than a thousand words. He approached the shroud in silence, gazed upon that painful image, and bowed his head in listening, as if he were hearing the message of Christ himself. And that message, as St. John Paul II reminded us, is simple yet profound. Believe in God's love and flee from sin. Pope Francis made a powerful gesture by touching the edge of the case that houses the shroud. A spontaneous act, yet laden with meaning, it reminds us of the mutual love between the Creator and His creation. This gesture harks back to the early pilgrims who touched the relics of saints, 
seeking to connect with the object of their devotion. It also underscores the importance of faith, for without it, every action is empty. Brothers and sisters, Pope Francis's spontaneous act of faith teaches us that devotion isn't just an outward act, but an act of faith and love. We shouldn't be afraid to express our devotion through tangible gestures, as long as they are fueled by deep and genuine faith. The shroud is not merely a material object, but a sign of Christ's love for us, a tangible testimony that speaks to both the heart and reason, bridging faith and science, a relic that continues to communicate to humanity across the ages as it unveils new meanings and divine signs with the advancement of knowledge. The shroud stands as the most significant relic in all of Christendom, and when we approach it with faith and love, we can offer Christ a tender caress, a gesture of love that transcends words. Let's reflect on the words and actions of our Holy Fathers and ask ourselves, how can I express my devotion to Christ today? How can I show my love for Him through my daily actions? Ponder these questions and let Christ's love guide us at every moment of our lives. Let us know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with new videos and become part of our faith and prayer community. May God bless you all.